finally got the fuck what's good what's up messy mob it's your girl messy maya and i am back again with another video so today today we're gonna be getting into some mess concerning roly poly snack meals girl it girl, it's a lot going on the girl has been exposing people left and right the girl made a, a very very Special announcement, baby. That is worth a standing ovation if you ask me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. Girl, it's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Maya. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that. And yeah, let's get into the mess. It just seemed like wherever we go, we cannot escape rolling from Baddies South to Baddies West to Baddies East. Baby, even the baddies auditions, every single special. Fans were so pressed and so desperate to get this knock knee big bat monster off the show to the point where they resorted to multiple, multiple petitions. There was one petition in particular that got over 100,000 signatures, like within days. But baby, although Zeus still casted her, Roly will not be on season five, Baddies Caribbean. Let's go ahead and get into what she had to say and let's get into the live where she actually confirmed this. So is it safe to say that you're not gonna be on Baddies Caribbean? I'm not, not anymore, not anymore. I was ready to piss them hoes off. I was ready to piss them bitches off. But no, not anymore. I'm not, I, I can't, because I, I got to make sure that my body heals for the even, next season, oh, I'm coming full throttle. When I tell you full throttle, bitches ain't getting away from shit. Y'all think that I mean so, now. Look, y'all better enjoy y'all little breaks with our roly, the ones that Enjoy had. it! <laughs> bitches, and it's a choice, because trust and believe me, my motherfucking production team love me, and I ain't going nowhere, bitch. Nowhere. Mm -hmm. But, yes, I just definitely have to uh, make sure that my stomach fully closes and heals. Fully closes and heals. Um, you better be removed or else. I want all my money. Thank you. Goodbye. So, Automac wasted no time to come to social media and, you know, celebrate this as the rest of us were. Automac said, oh, by the way, Roly isn't coming back next season. Bye-bye, Silverback. Automac, you know what you're doing by calling this girl a silverback. First it was monkey, now it's silverback. Oh lord, yeah, but you guys are still gonna defend her. Anyways, Roly responded and she basically brought up some things that, you know, that's been surfacing around. She said, these 304 speaking on me like Automac, let's be real. We know why you got your spot. I've been at Zeus for how long and I had to suck for a spot you keep being a throat baby because we know that's all you are good for maintain them doctor appointments for rag muffin you call a coochie yeah girl oh my goodness y'all listen listen boo because y'all know word on the street is automatic is burning girl so you know you she said maintain them doctor's appointment girl that you for, for that little <laughs> girl what roly yeah this is so messy. Do y'all realize that Roly low-key but high-key be exposing Zeus? And, like, they don't ever say nothing to her. Like, she literally is saying that Automat for her spot. Like, <laughs> like, but my thing is, if you love Zeus so much, why would you put them out like that? You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it's not like we already don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Roly said this all the way back when, before Stunner Girl even came out with that alleged information. So, uh, you know, girl, and Krishan also said it, girl, everybody can't be lying on a mat. That's all I'm saying, child. On a mat, clap back, and she said, this is the problem. Roly, nobody wants to f*** you. I actually didn't have to f*** you. already know the tea. Bitch is mad at me because a motherfucker want to mess with me. So you know me. I'm going to play my hand every time. You just... I mean, this does not okay. And, and then she said, Janisha don't have a problem with me, but as far as you, babe, you paid men to sleep with you and you still had to pay for your own show to be filmed. Now that I believe, and it never 
came out, babe. You did nothing with yourself. You're literally on back page for big girls who sell coochie. The real reason you're not coming back is because you run your mouth too much. You started too many rumors about your own boss and that's why you're gone. Just tell the truth. It's not about your body, baby. I'm going to expose it every time. Now, no shade. Roly, she did clock your T in terms of like you, you, you being so unfuckable to the point where you had to pay for, you know what I'm saying? You had, you had to pay for a little licky licky girl. You know what I'm saying? Girl, this girl, she clocked your teeth. But we already knew that, so it's really not news. I'm just saying, like you, you steady talk about who the next person is is fucking on. When I feel like in reality, you just mad because don't nobody want to fuck you. I'm still on the fact that you said at the reunion that that the reason why Biggie didn't want to be friends and the real reason why Biggie was mad is because because she wanted to 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 do a little licky licky and you didn't let her and i honestly am just still uh, i'm very appalled by what you said because i don't believe it boo anyways but on the mac let's very much get into you so babe you really did just admit to messing with lemmy you didn't admit to fucking him but you admitted that you messed with him and then you and then you 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 felt the need to reiterate that you and Janisha were still cool regardless of that fact. She said that Lemmy likes her and this is my thing with Automatic too. You talk about Roly is basically fired and she's not coming back to Zeus or Baddies or getting her show because she feels the need to basically put Lemmy's business out there and and you know what I'm saying and entertain rumors about Lemmy and her own boss as you said quote unquote. But you do the same exact thing. You done spoke on this man's business for a while now, especially when it pertains to him and Scotty and like and him and other girls. So it's like, girl, you're very much contradicting yourself, but that is besides the point. So on the Mac, you literally just admitted that you be messing with him. You just said that Lemmy likes you. And again, you're putting out his business too. Anyways, you said that Lemmy likes you. And it's not your fault that he likes you. And you basically used it to your advantage. And, and you know how to play your hand. So basically, you entertain him. You mess with him to get on the show. <laughs> That's really what you just said. Which nothing is wrong with that, I guess. I mean, if you're going to... I mean, it's better than E.T. E.T. just got outed for fucking and sucking on the cameraman. So, I mean, if, you, if you're going to fucking suck on production, at least fucking suck where it's going to matter. You know, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't give... I, Chow, you know what I'm saying? Girl, I wouldn't tell my little sister that advice, but I mean, if you're going to, girl, do, do what you do, I guess. Y'all going to do what y'all do anyway, because clearly y'all be y'all y'all got to do what y'all do to get on the show. Um, You just admitted that. And then uh, again, you, you felt the need to reiterate and to, to put it out there that regardless of the fact you and Janisha are still cool. So it's just like, girl, because all I heard was he likes me. And, you know, I entertained him and did what he wanted me to do to get on the show. I played my hand. Like, that's really what it gave to me. And you're mad that I played my hand and got on the show that way. That's really what it gave. Because she said that the girls were mad because Lemmy likes her and she took advantage of it and she got on the show. Because according to Lemmy's history, it, it, it don't give that he took you out on a couple dates and it was like, boom, you're on the show. Like, I highly doubt that girl. You know what I'm saying? It, it gave that you, it, that you allegedly, because I heard you like to sue, I heard you like to play with the police, that you allegedly cracked that little cooter cat open to get on the show, girl. And, and if you, girl, uh, child, y'all are a mess over there. I'm not even gonna lie. Y'all are a mess. Like, do they not make y'all sign NDAs or some type of contract that ensures that y'all disclose this information? Like, especially Roly. Roly has been there for about five or six years now. And Roly really be like, she don't, she's not, she's not like Stunner Girl. She's not as bad as Stunner Girl. But if if one of the girls make her mad enough, Roly is going to out production. She is going to out Zeus. And she's going to out Lemmy every single time. She's been doing it for a couple years now. Every single time somebody makes her mad. She does it. Just like when, when, when uh, she was beefing with Scotty and Natalie. What did she do? She put it out there that Scotty and Natalie was doing it with each other. Was doing to do with each other. Girl, she, she just don't care. But let's get on the fact that Anna Mag basically said that Roly got fired. And you know, because Roly, as you can see, Roly said that she needs time to heal. And it is because of her body that, you know, she's not going to be on the show. And it, it's definitely a choice 
you know, because she was casted, allegedly she was casted and she chose not to go due to her body and her healing, this, that, and the third. But Anna Mac basically contradicted every, every single thing that Broly even said. It was like, baby, you know good and well, it's not because of your body. No, ma'am, no ham, no turkey. You be making up rumors, you be entertaining rumors, and you be putting your bosses a business out there. That's why you're not coming back. Zeus is done with you. They don't want you no more. You run your mouth too much. You talk too much. But if that is the case, chill, Roly girl. If, if that is the case that you got fired because you run your mouth too much, honestly, I feel like that is believable because Roly really do. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all need to read in between the lines when Roly be beefing, especially online with these girls. Roly is one of those people that for the life of them, they cannot hold water. Like it's like if, especially if you make them mad. She is going to out you every single time, baby. Them secrets is going to come out every single time, and they do. And she, and she, and Zeus, and, and Lemmy, Zeus, Lemmy production, they be catching strays in the process because she be outing them in the process. <laughs> when, she, when, when a girl makes her mad enough, it's crazy, girl. So if that is the case, if she really did get fired and kind of lied about it and tried to front for us, making it seem like it was a choice, girl, that is crazy, girl. You don't got to front, child. If, if you really did, if they let you go, okay. So as you guys know, the Baddies East reunion did just air their second part. And girl, the girls have been reacting to, to what's been going on online. First things first, Hot Dog Head Sapphire. Okay, Hot Dog Head Sapphire. You know, when she came up in the reunion with her friend, you know, she she was giving Roly some weird energy. Okay, she basically didn't give Roly a hug or even acknowledge Roly, even though after Roly, you know, and, and your friend fought, uh, you know, Roly did this, that, and third to your friend. You were still friends with her in the house, but now all of a sudden you are so desperate to redeem yourself and prove yourself to be a good friend after you got hated by the fans, this, that, and the third. So now you are with the weird energy. You want to start fighting people that you've been should have fought and you want to start acting funny towards people that you've been should have started acting funny towards, okay? So baby, Rolly did not like this, okay? And she actually checked Sapphire a little bit on live. Let's go ahead and get into it. Real cool with her, I was close with her, but she's gonna ask me a weird ass question on the reunion and talk about some why I let my friend attack Natalie. Bitch, why the f did you let me attack your friend? Bitch. I didn't even know that she attacked Natalie. I would have you stopped know what? would have never even did that. Shit. I would have stopped her if I would have known that she, I would have even told her before we go, do not put your hands on fucking Natalie. Like, don't do that. Like, she didn't do nothing to you. But you're gonna sit there and ask me why the f I let my friend run up on Natalie. Girl, you, you, you questioning the wrong bitch at this point. Chow, so let me tell y'all something. I don't too much care for Roly. I feel like Roly is a buster. Sometimes she she gives pathological liar, but sometimes Roly be eating the girls up. Okay, because my thing is is what she said was true. Because Saf liar. Okay, Miss Miss Big Oak Tree girl. My thing is is again like Roly said. Who are you? And I girl, who are you? Even though it was a valid question, what Sapphire asked Roly, who are you to question Roly when you let your friend get backed up against the wall? You let her get backed up against the wall. You gaslighted her. You made you you made it you victimized yourself and villainized her. You were still friends with the girls who did that to her. The very next day you was talking to them in their face, talking to them about Suki. Girl, you are, you know what I'm saying, girl, you are queen of the fake friends. But you you trying to you trying to ask another bitch how she operate with her friend and why she operate in this way with her friend. No, baby. You need to go. Yeah, don't, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. I completely agree with Roly girl. And then you came to the reunion wanting to do your big one, your big one that you should have been did on the show. And honestly, girl, no shade. When you did run up on ET, first of all, when you threw the drink, you missed. Let's just get into that, girl. Only about three, uh, three, four, five, six splashes of water actually landed on ET. Girl, you look nervous. You look like you didn't want to do it. And you even admitted to losing the first round. So honestly, I don't have anything much else to say to you. Anna Mac also took it to Instagram and repeated it for like the 10th time that she don't care. <laughs> even though you keep repeating yourself, but that is besides the point. She keeps reiterating that she does not care that she snuck ET because ET said she was going to sneak her first. This, that, and the third. Girl, we understand. We get it. You had to do what you had to do, girl. Okay. Also, Tatsiki spoke a little bit about the reunion too. As soon as it dropped, let's go ahead and get into that as well. 
I ate. He said I ate from the look to this. I mean, humbly, respectfully. What y'all expect? Y'all thought I'd just be out of line. Y'all thought I was a liar like the rest of the people. You, when you like that, that's just like, you know, that's you trying to like literally break a person down. That's what I was doing. I was trying to break it down. But she, she just, she was reckless. I hate a reckless fighter. Really breaking down. And you know how I was feeling like, nah, nah. And that slow motion, because I promise you, she was hurting. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. That is all I have for y'all today. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and do not forget to subscribe. It's Messy Maya. Bye.